Hello everyone, welcome to Katie Fairproof Kitchens. Thank you for joining me. And today I'm gonna show you how to make the most yummy filling for it's called the Swiss buttercream merengue. And it's very simple but it's so so delicious. So you can use this for like your cupcakes, your macaron filling. Um, so today we're gonna do the raspberry uh, buttercream uh, merengue, okay? A sweet buttercream merengue. So let's get started here. So we will need about uh, 300 grams of the raspberry. If you don't have fresh uh, raspberry, you can use frozen. So I'm gonna put in here and turn on the stove here. Dump it in. Okay. And I'm gonna add in four tablespoons of um, just a regular granulate sugar. And add it in here. And we're gonna give it a little bit stir turn off the low down the oven the um, heat a little bit here and just going to try to melt the sugar I'm going to show you a close-up view later see how it turned out so we're going to give it a few minutes so the sugar start to melting here All right, it's starting melting a little bit, and we're gonna let it cook simmer at low heat for a few minutes until you see it's gonna start getting thickening, uh, thicker. You can start to turn off um, the heat here, and you can keep it in the fridge so it can cool down, or keep it room temp until it cool down before you put into your um, buttercream. So I'm gonna show you later. here okay I'm gonna let it simmer for a few minutes and be right back so it's getting a little bit thicker now so as you can see We are going to transfer it, so we're going to shiver it out to get the seed out and we're going to leave that um, put in the fridge so it's kind of cool down a little bit, it's going to form like a little bit thicker paste for us here. It looks very pretty and I'm sure it tastes yummy as well. Okay. Alright, so we did form like a paste right here we're gonna transfer in here so let's go ahead and turn off our thing here and let's go ahead and um, got my gloves on put in here So we got this um, paste right here closer, very pretty color. And all right. I'm gonna try to strip it out here. We're trying to get out the seat behind here. Oops, got some out. 
so i'm preparing this one here for the macaron videos but since the macaron video is going to be long so i decided to do a separate video for the sweet merengue buttercream here I like to use the sweet um, buttercream versus the buttercream itself because it's not as uh, dense. It's very smooth and it can stay at room temp uh, for better. Longer time without melting. All right, so we got this. I'm gonna put this in the fridge. Let's cool down a little bit. So before we put into our buttercream, um, Merengue, it will it won't melt our butter. So let's go and put it in the fridge. All right, guys. So while waiting for our raspberry to cool down in the fridge, I go ahead and start um, our merengue here. So we will need five eggs white and three hundred grams of granulated sugar. So just regular granulated sugar, and then we're gonna use a double boiler and you wanted to use um, a Dorama to test it out to make sure it's about 160 Fahrenheit when it's ready before we whip um, the merengue or you can touch the texture if it's smooth and it's not grainy then it's ready okay so I'm gonna turn on the thing here and we're gonna start cracking our egg white here so I have There. all right so we're gonna put the eggs right in here hopefully i don't leave any egg yolk okay so I'll put it in here one last thing to wash right so but if you want you can put into a bowl first just to make sure you don't have any egg yolk in here or else our merengue will not be as soft and as fluffy as it should be like a cloud so there so be extra careful it's kind of getting darker here i was changing the setting a little bit so I decided to do it in my backyard and the sun is getting down here so we might have to transfer inside one this is ready all right perfect you can save the egg yolk for other stuff like flan or salted eggs um, like the Asian salted eggs so I'm gonna leave save this here Put it here we're gonna put in 300 grams of granulated sugar in that's a lot of sugar but don't worry it will all work out so let's give it a stir here so I kind of pre-boil my water already so it's hot so we don't waste time so it should be boiling right now it is boiling right now it's really hot so we're trying to melt the sugar a little bit so let's see what our temperature is right now and again we're shooting for 160 Fahrenheit so I'm gonna leave it in here. About 132. Again, you can also touch it to see if it's smooth. If it's smooth, then pop the sugar is kind of you know dissolve a little bit already so it's good to go since we're dealing with like you know um, raw eggs we're gonna make sure it cooked a little bit
So we're reaching about 152 Fahrenheit here. Continue to give it a stir. Perfect. So we're reaching about 160 now. So I'm going to stop and see how did it go. Mm, very smooth. It's ready. So turn it off. And we're going to go inside here since it's getting darker you probably won't see my face anymore so we're gonna put inside and we're gonna put into our kitchen aid machine and whip it okay i'm gonna run it through let cool down a little bit it's so hot okay let's go inside perfect All right, so we had to move inside because it's getting darker. So, um, so this is all egg white here. It was already dissolved with the white sugar, and now we're going to um, whisk it at medium. So we want to give it that whisk for like a few minutes until you see that forming like a marshmallow, very glossy like. Um, and then that's when it's ready, we start adding our butter. At this time, let's cut off our butter like, into small chunks. And I'm gonna close up as you can see, okay? Alright, so a few minutes went by already and our uh, sweet buttercream is getting formed to a white glossy marshmallow like so let's see it okay so I was saying that um, our marshmallow is glossy looking oh, look at that how glossy beautiful that is beautiful so we're gonna start adding our butter in slowly and it's okay that it's deflated a little bit don't worry
like a smooth, smooth Swiss buttercream. So therefore, we're gonna let it run a little bit until it's very smooth. And you, I will show you how creamy and delicious um, turn out. And then we're going to add in the flavor, the raspberry. You can do like blueberry, raspberry, orange, lemon, so any sort. So it's been running at like a high speed for a few minutes now. Okay, let's check it out. Ooh, would you look at that? Whoa. Look at that. So thick and smooth. So smooth very glossy so it's ready so we're gonna i'm gonna get some of it save for other flavor and the rest i'm gonna add in the um raspberry here mm, super super yummy this is like buttercream heaven all right so our buttercream is ready our swiss buttercream is ready i'm gonna split in half so i'm gonna save half of it for like a blueberry flavoring or durian flavoring so and the rest I will use it for the raspberry because I plan to make some macaron for my son turning one um, this month here in a couple weeks already he's turning one so I'm gonna save this much here and gonna add in our raspberry so let's just pour in our raspberry here it's really good guys raspberry is like if you don't have fresh raspberry on hand and you cannot get it frozen would do too you just have to um, dump it in before it uh, defrost so it'll be better so now we're gonna give it a whip medium we get a blend in a little bit. It's gonna bring out very, very pretty color. Mm. Mm. Super, super yummy. It's had a little bit tart, and you know I'm using this for the macaron filling. So you know how when it's um, not it's so super sweet. So this will blend in. So it's a little tart, sweet, blend in, and it's like it's heaven. So I'm gonna show you. It turned out very nice. I'm like so excited here. Going to add it in here a little bit here. Just gonna mix it up. Give it a little bit of help. Alright guys, so we have it, the most yummy raspberry sweet buttercream meringue. And I'm going to show you close up here. So let's show close up view here. Oops. Look at that. How good it is. Super, super smooth texture so I would go ahead and use this for like cupcakes perfect mm, super good so there you have it you will have a super delicious uh, cream so I'm gonna use this for my macarons and I'm gonna show you the next video all right thank you for watching my channel and if you like my channel please subscribe below and hit likes and thank you see you next time bye Alright, so our buttercream is ready. Our Swiss buttercream is ready. I'm gonna split in half. So I'm gonna save half of it for like a blueberry flavoring or durian flavoring. So, and the rest I will use it for the raspberry. Because I plan to make some macaron for my son turning one 
um, this month here in a couple weeks already he's turning one so I'm gonna save this much here and and I'm gonna add in our raspberry so let's just pour in our raspberry here it's really good guys raspberry is like if you don't have fresh raspberry on hand and you cannot get it frozen would do too you just have to um, dump it in before it uh, defrost so it will be better so now we're gonna give it a whip medium you get a blend in a little bit it's gonna bring out very very pretty color mm. Mm. super super yummy it had a little bit tart and you know I'm using this for the macaron filling so you know how when it's um, now it's so super sweet so this will blend in so it's a little tart sweet blend in and it's like it's heaven so i'm gonna show you it turned out very nice i'm like so excited here going to add it in here a little bit here just gonna mix it up give it a little bit of help okay. alright guys so we have it the most yummy raspberry sweet buttercream meringue you close up here hmm. so show close up view here oops look at that how good it is super super smooth texture so I would go ahead and use this for like cupcakes perfect mm super good so there you have it you will have a super delicious uh, super cream so I'm gonna use this for my macarons and I'm gonna show you the next video all right thank you for watching my channel and if you like my channel please subscribe below and hit likes and thank you see you next time bye All right, so our buttercream is ready. Our Swiss buttercream is ready. I'm gonna split in half. So I'm gonna save half of it for like a blueberry flavoring or durian flavoring. So, and the rest, I will use it for the raspberry. Cause I plan to make some macaron for my son turning one um, this month here in a couple weeks. Already he's turning one. So I'm gonna save this much here and and i'm gonna add in our raspberry so let's just pour in our raspberry here it's really good guys raspberry is like if you don't have fresh raspberry on hand and you cannot get it frozen would do too you just have to um, dump it in before it uh, defrost so it will be better. So now we're gonna give it a whip, medium. You get a blend in a little bit. It's gonna bring out very, very pretty color. Mm. Mm. Super, super yummy. It's a little bit tart. And you know, I'm using this for the macaron filling. So you know how when it's, um, now it's so super sweet. So this will blend in. So it's a little tart, sweet, blend in, and it's like, it's heaven. So. I'm gonna show you. It turned out very nice. I'm like so excited here. Going to add it in here a little bit here. Just gonna mix it up. Give it a little bit of help.
All right, guys. So we have it. The most yummy raspberry sweet buttercream meringue. And we'll show you close up here. So let's show close up view here. Oops. Look at that. How good it is. Super, super smooth texture. So I would go ahead and use this for like cupcakes. Perfect. Mm, super good. So there you have it. You will have a super delicious uh, sweet buttercream. So I'm going to use this for my macarons and I'm going to show you the next video. All right. Thank you for watching my channel. And if you like my channel, please subscribe below and hit likes. And thank you. See you next time. Bye.